interesting. All right, guys. We're going to have to listen to Sussy Baca here. Let's get into this. This is probably going to piss off a lot of people. Sure. But a real... Nothing, nothing starts well when you say something like that. When you start off your sentence with, I know I'm being intentionally controversial, but that's all you're really doing. Listen, I, I was at a point where I would just say dumb, uncontroversial things just to say them. It was a brief moment in my career. Sometimes you get taken by the wind, you know, when you're, you're, you know, especially when you feel like a pressure to keep making popular content. And I, I'm, I'm obviously embarrassed for it, but hey, hey guys, you, people are not going to like this. It's like most, most true takes and that are presented well-intentioned are not met with like a bunch of backlash. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they are, most of the times they're not. Relationship between a man and a woman is inherently unequal. That's true, because women suck. Boom! Bam! That's all I had to really say. And that goes for any relationship where someone is deciding to date their oppressor. Oh, okay. Well, we, uh, we, we took that in an interesting direction. I was just joking. Um, <laughs> this, the, the idea that all men are oppressors to women is fucking ridiculous. Um, just, just dumb. Just like all white people have racism brainwashed into them, all males have misogyny brainwashed into them. What were we talking about before? This is, I, you notice a trend from fucking liberals, bro. Every fucking time, okay? They'll make a ridiculous point, and then they'll bring it to black people to try to make you believe their fucking dumb point right they're like hey men are basically all oppressive to women just like black people every single time that somebody talks about something they got to bring black people into it why the fuck do you always have to bring black people into everything like it's it, you notice this trend it's insane stop bringing black people into everything i feel like that's racist to try to push your anti-male narrative off of the backs of black oppression feels like a very racist thing to do. No? This is like this is this is this is ridiculous. It just feels like we need to stop. That's that's modern day racism. Honestly. A woman moment. Yeah, white woman moment. <laughs> oh. And any male who claims not to be a misogynist is a misogynist. What's a what's a misogynist? Cuz I could probably use one right now. I'm gonna just look at. I know what a misogyny is, um, but I just want to know, like, what's the true definition? Oh, it's just somebody who hates women. Like, I knew that. I, I was wondering if there was like something more deep there. I don't hate women at all. I just don't respect them, and there's a total difference. Because of <laughs> self-aware man knows that he has it brainwashed into him. And any time that a woman decides to be in a relationship with a man, she's making a sacrifice and a commitment. Yeah, knowing no, that one thousand nine hundred and hey, thank you so much for the sub. Subscribed. Hold on. Sacrifice and a commitment. She's made a maid. And any time that a woman decides to be in a relationship with a man, she's making a sacrifice and a commitment, knowing that she's dating her oppressor. Almost all women have sexual trauma and emotional abuse trauma, literally just from society. And she's taken- <laughs> Just from society? Bro, this is what I'm talking about. This woman, can, there's no way this woman has like a real trauma in her life. To, to belittle trauma like this, it makes no sense. I know there's so many women who subscribe to my channel that like have their own trauma, like a lot of survivors in there. And like- to just just existing as a trauma now for women that's so belittling to like people who really do like experience traumatic situations it's fucking insane taking a risk in being with you and making a commitment to help you undo your brainwashing what hold on. what are you saying you and making a commitment to help you undo your brainwashing no of course i'm not saying that people shouldn't date the opposite gender we kind of a are lack of awareness can cause problems Okay, so just define to me, like, what, what is, like, the abuse in a situation between a man and a, man and a woman? Like, just what is it? Oftentimes, like, there's, like, this is, it, everything is, like, a theoretical thing that can't be proven. Oh, there's abuse because men fart? I don't understand. 
Maybe that's true. Maybe that's what it is. Men do fart. Yesterday, I was actually, we were downstairs. I was with my, my fiance, and I had, I had like really bad propane farts. And that's very oppressive to women because as a society, we're, we encourage women not to fart. And so, like, you know what? You're right. We do misogyny, kill all men. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Papa, women don't fart. Like, exactly. Dude, honestly, though, all jokes aside, Mama got farts constantly. It's insane. It's insane. She doesn't stop farting. It's actually annoying sometimes.